I got into this uh, 12 years ago and it was something that I thought was very niche and seeing all these things happen uh, in the short, incredibly short time span that I've been studying this is almost surreal. The science is heading in many different directions, which is exciting to me. Uh, we try to, I put my hands in a lot of different pots. <laughs> so one thing that we study is the epigenetic uh, effects of ketone bodies. So actually influencing gene transcription uh, through a signaling mechanism. So that's one exciting aspect of the ketogenic diet that was sort of unexpected. And also the effects of ketones on suppressing, anti, suppressing inflammatory pathways uh, that are linked pathophysiologically, I would say, to aging or chronically uh, diseases of chronic aging and also disease associated with autoimmune disorders, I think is very exciting to me. And, uh, and just ketones as an energy source. You know, we knew for years the brain could use glucose, but the relatively recent finding, uh, not so recent, I mean, it was, there was papers in 1967, I think, that showed the brain can use ketones as an energy source. But now we're to the point where we're developing technologies, even exogenous ketones, to leverage the utility of this alternative fuel, you know, in the form of fasting, in the form of the ketogenic diet, and even supplementation. Thank you.